And let's do our first guest. I'm so excited. Let our first two guests. Yes, yeah. our first two guests. Uh, with us, we have Rabbi Jackie Redner. Mm -hmm. She served as Vista Del Mar's rabbi in residence for the past 16 years, holds the title of Director of Spiritual Enrichment. What a nice title. Yeah. She oversees Vista's Jewish Life programs, which provides innovative Jewish educational programming and experiences designed for families with children, teens and young adults with autism, both speaking and non-speaking, and other special needs. Rabbi Jackie, as she is known at VISTA, serves as chaplain for VISTA's residential population. Um, and uh, Rabbi Jackie received her ordination uh, from the Ziegler School of Rabbinic Studies at American Jewish University. But prior to rabbinical school, she worked as a registered occupational therapist for 10 years, trained in process-oriented psychology. And in December of this year, she'll receive a certification with the Center of Mind Body Medicine. She's also a wife and mother, so it's not enough, right? Wow, yeah. Yeah, so welcome to the show, Rabbi Jackie. And then we... Yes, and we also have with her Ladan Sumek. Uh, she is the program director of Vista Del Mar's Jewish Life Program. She's a musician, an educator, and her work with vulnerable children and teens began 25 years ago when she was the music instructor for Vista's residential after school program. She's a professional musician specializing in vocals and piano, uh, which has been very helpful with her connecting with students. Uh, as a form of expression. She served as cantor for Vista's annual high holiday services and other Jewish holidays. Um, and Vista's Jewish life programs under the leadership of Rabbi Jackie offers Jewish education and experiences to neurodivergent learners from tweens to young adults. So we are very happy to have them here. Yes, Thank welcome, ladies. Thank you so much for having Thank us. You. Thank you. Thrilled to have you. Let's talk a little bit about, I mean, it's like where to begin, right? But tell us a little bit about, I, I know you guys hold very true to some core values at Vista Del Mar. Um, and so tell us about what the core values are for the Jewish Life programs. So um, let me say that, you know, if you're not familiar, or for those of you that aren't familiar with Vista Del Mar, VISTA began as a Jewish orphanage in, I think, 1908. And so today, we, we most of the children and families we serve are not Jewish, but we still have Jewish life programs. And, you know, VISTA's indelible commitment to taking care of and nurturing um, society's most vulnerable children and families has remained the same throughout all the years. And so Jewish Life Programs is kind of a niche program there. I would say um, the it's not a um, it's not a treatment program. So in that sense, it maybe is a little bit different than um, like our residential uh, care programs um, and our schools and and that kind of thing. Of course, they're not uh, they're not treatment program. The school is not a treatment program either, but. There's children that come there that have emotional and behavioral issues that they need extra support for. Um, and so I don't know if that answered your question, mm -hmm. um, Shannon, but that's, um, you know, that, that's VISTA's mission and, um, and it remains. Ladan, would you like to address the kinds of services you provide? Yeah, so we have a, uh, first of all, I want a lollipop. That was ah! a <laughs> <laughs> And a cat. Uh, we, ha we have um, a program, our learners um, on the spectrum, as you know, there are all kinds of different abilities. And so our students, we try to approach our students with a, a lot of flexibility. So for example, we have each class has art we start each class with an art project because we find, as you know, that that's a wonderful way for all students to express themselves. And then we go into music and then we have a theme that we uh, cover for each year. And then we break that theme down into each class. But we really try to be very flexible with how we teach. It's very like in the moment, 
each learner has their own style and we really are very sensitive uh, to being able to connect at a moment's notice with any learner at any time. So that's very important to how we do what we do. Um, and I, if, can I piggyback off her? Yeah. So, you know, we have our, um, like our Jewish studies program, which is called Neskadol, and uh, which means great miracle. And um, we also, I, I want to just say, I want to honor Elaine Hall because she actually started that program mm. like 16 years ago. Mm -hmm. I've been working with it almost from the beginning and, you know, came to end up directing that program. But we do um, Jewish holiday celebrations. We have high holiday services, which are free to the community. We have bar and bat mitzvah tutoring. Um, we have a monthly virtual Shabbat service. We have service learning um, opportunities through our Blessing Exchange program, mostly bringing uh, Shabbat experiences to seniors and um, really try and provide our, our students with places that they can be of service um, to others. And I think, you know, you had asked me about uh, VISTA's values. And I think, you know, one of the things that we're thinking about, LaDan and I are always thinking about is, you know, how do we create a sense of inclusion and a space of inclusion, which allows our, our students to share their light with the community. Um, and so that they, they and their families um, can feel our students essential and necessary presence in the whole of the community. And I think that's really, really important to us. We're able to tailor make our classes. We're able to tailor make a bar and bat mitzvah experience, this you know, coming of age um, ceremony. Everything we do is an opportunity to allow our students to lead, to be seen. I would just say like at our high holiday services, which Vista's had for many, many years, I would open that with, you know, the community that's gathered here today creates the heart in which the service takes place and whatever happens here is okay. Some of our friends with autism, particularly those who are um, non-speaking may sometimes make noises and that's okay. We can hold whatever happens here. And it just, you know, there's an exhale parents know, then they can be there and they don't have to worry. We're really trying to create a refuge for not only our um, students, but also their their families. So I just wanted to add um, add that in. And yeah, um, who, who is eligible for the program? You talked about some of the types of kids you have, but who is eligible? I mean, the program is designed for um, children with autism and other neurodiverse abilities and special needs, but anybody can join. We do sometimes have neurotypical uh, children join as well. And um, we would love to have a younger program. If we get um, young students that come, we will create a program for them. But generally now it's like, I would say 10 to, you know, 20, Five, I think is our probably our old, oldest um, student now and because we have enough staff on hand and the nature of our classes and really the personal attention that we're able to give it doesn't seem to matter so much um, they seem less attached to each other's age than perhaps they would um, in a regular school setting and so you talked a little bit about the high holidays, but uh, I imagine with, I mentioned that you were going to be on the show today and I said that we would touch on Hanukkah um, and wondering if what the plans are that you have for Hanukkah and when that perhaps the public might want to participate in. That would be great. We actually have a lovely Hanukkah program planned. We were going to do it outside 
Uh, but because it's so cold and because the COVID numbers are rising, we're going to be doing it virtually. But we have something very special planned for our families and for anyone that's coming is that we are putting together a Happy Hanukkah kit. So it will include a dinner, it will include a, a mini menorah, it will include latkes, it will include songbooks, a gift for the child or the learner. It's a complete package that they can come and pick up before the virtual service that we're having and then we're going to have a great time online when the when the pandemic first started we had our first Hanukkah online and it was a lot of fun it did create a lot of intimacy in a certain way that we can't have in person so we really try to you know make the best of it and really make it very special because like Rabbi Jackie mentioned we try to make it as easy as possible on our parents. Parents are overwhelmed, it's stressful, there's a lot going on, and we really, um, I feel like we support the parents as well as the students. And so everything that we do, including this Hanukkah, we make it really simple and easy and fun. And we have several of these programs throughout the year, so we've really become a community. You know, when we come together, it's, it's, it's whole. You know, Amazing. and it's very special. So mm -hmm. where do they need to go to find out? Because the fact that it's virtual, that means that you don't have to be local to Los Angeles to attend that Hanukkah. Uh, you really could be anywhere in the world. And I don't know. I, um, I just have to say that I have found the Jewish community in, in general so much more welcoming of our kids than anywhere else that I've been. And in, in our lives, you know, when my son was young and first diagnosed, everybody was saying, you know, you better, I, I will admit that we didn't have a church that we went to and everybody was saying, you need to have a spiritual community around you. And we were going everywhere. And um, my son probably went to more Hanukkah celebrations than he did to anything else because we would get kicked out of everywhere else. We never, mm -hmm. ever got kicked out when we were doing something that was part of the Jewish community. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that, that was uh, a very interesting thing for us. So uh, I... It's so touching. <laughs> it really is. I can tell Ladan is touched, and I'm so touched that that was your experience. That is, and that was so my son's happy. experience. Um, I, I keep drawing a blank, but what is the wonderful place that's right at the 405, the museum? The Skirball? The Skirball. Skirball. We practically lived at the Skirball. Mm -hmm. and, and there was one time when uh, we tried to have a very open spiritual home where we, didn't, we weren't putting any beliefs on our son. And I remember when he was first able to be verbal and I was sort of describing for him because we had gone through the Jewish life exhibit where you could see what it was like for people in the 30s living in New York City if they were part of the Jewish community. He loved it. Uh, we also, I still love and go to the Noah's Ark exhibit there whenever I possibly can. But anyway, and I'm from back east, so there is, there is sort of, uh, you can find a New York home uh, at the Skirball as well. But anyway, they, um, I was, we were driving home and I said to him, okay, well, you know, there's these beliefs and there's these beliefs. Where do you think you fit in? And he loves Jewish music better than anything else on the face of the planet still. And, and he was like, oh, well, you know, I'm clearly Jewish. <laughs> um, because that, because he was like, yeah, no, those are my people. Um, mm -hmm. Which I thought was adorable. And he had spent more time in that community, to be honest, because he was welcomed there. And, and I, can I tell you how many Christian churches and the YMCA that we got kicked out of? Don't get me started. Um, and I would always go, really? Is that how we're going to, that's, you know, okay, thank you. Got your so number. Let me tell you that this coming Sunday, um, you can go online. Uh, Jewish Life Program is Vista Del Mar. If you just look up Vista Del Mar Child and Family Services and you go even to the main page of the website, if you scroll down, you'll see the flyer for Hanukkah. Okay, great. Um, if you want to come if you want to get food please get in touch with us immediately okay um, but ladan's number's on the flyer okay but the other thing i wanted to tell you i know you want to speak one second ladan is that mm. on the 17th we're having um a winter concert where we're going to be having jewish music and uh, hanukkah music and christmas music and we have people coming from beit teshuva we have people gospel coming from music gospel music uh our Jew, kids from Jewish Life programs and some of our alumni 
will be singing. Uh, Vista's residents will be singing. So Tell me that date again, because my son will want to see that. <laughs> great. Um, I'm hoping Craig Taubman is supposed to come. Um, Craig, come. <laughs> He's getting back that day. Um, it's on December 17th at 7 p.m. in our beautiful new uh, Gloria Kaufman Performing Arts Center. Oh, where where are you located physically? On Motor Avenue okay. um, in Los Angeles um, at the 10 Freeway. Got so it. it's Motor Avenue and the 10 Freeway. Okay. Maybe there's somewhere we can put a link. Do you have like a... On yes, page. if you'll send us the link, we we'll, we'll put it in the the notes underneath the show on uh, on YouTube and for the podcast. So if you'll send okay, us that link, we'll do that link, for we'll Hanukkah it. and for the and for that. Awesome. It'd be great. All great. are welcome. We are so inclusive. Everybody is welcome. We love to have. I love that. I love it. More too. and more people. Yeah. And I think you should expose your kids to everything. I agree. Uh, because that's how we need the world to be. Right. Right. Um, but oh, uh, before I want you we to go, come to high holidays next year too. I, I, I love it. I want you it. to come to high holidays, bring because there, it's it, there's a place for everybody there because there's because Vista is not primarily a Jewish agency anymore in the sense that most of the kids and and families that get our services are not Jewish. We have our kids involved in our programming, um, our residents that live on campus, and they they become part of a choir and staff are there and it, it we have a the life choir who who's this kind of a beautiful choir led by hb barnum that's more gospel and they sing in our last service and it, it's just our our kids with autism and our participants they're all leading different parts of the service and it's wonderful and warm and welcoming and love you it. would be most welcome and i would love, you cannot I love to be go in a home. bad mood right once there you get go. there whatever weight is on your shoulders will get lifted that's my experience hmm. with every class and everything that we i'll do. take it so uh, yeah. we have to ask for your for these kinds of things and for the programs um, if somebody is interested, is there a website that they can go to where they, I, we're going to include a link, but is there a website that they can go to um, to find out all the things that you do? Vistadelmar.org. Okay. And then you go into the about, you go to that little, and it'll say Jewish life. Okay. And then you click on Jewish life and you'll get there. Great. You can also call me at 310-836-1223, extension 209 you can call a Dan. You're going to have to say that again slowly so that people can catch that. 310-836-1223, extension 209. Okay. And people are going to ask, is there a cost to attend some of these things or to be involved in the programs? So I'm going to answer that, LaDan. Is that okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um... First of all, LaDan and I have worked together for years, too, and I trust her deeply and love her deeply. So anyone can come to anything. We will make accommodations. I can tell you that our Hanukkah program is $10 per attendee, but you're getting a, a kosher dinner that's going to include latkes and dessert and chicken and uh, vegetable. You're going to get a menorah. You're going to get gifts. Mm. Um, a lot of our events are free. Our Friday monthly um Every first Friday uh, program is free. Our high holiday services are free. Um, many, many of the things that we do are no cost, and we will work with any family. No one is ever turned away. There's scholarship money available, and um, we want. If you want to be there and be part of our community, we want you there, and oh, it's nice. important to us. So welcoming. Well, you two Absolutely. are definitely doing God's work with our children and we are deeply appreciative of your efforts. Oh, are you kidding? The, these students open up my heart and brighten up my day each and every time. I mean, it's a, it's a privilege and an honor. We, we have some beautiful, beautiful people that we're working with. Well, it's a privilege to have had this time with you guys. We hope that people will check out all that you're doing at vistadelmar.org. Trayvon just had it on the screen a second ago. But thank you for taking the time to be with us today. Thank you, ladies. Thank Thanks you. for happy, having us. Yeah, happy holidays. Happy, and thank holidays. You. happy holidays to you Thank as well. you both for all the amazing work you do and uh, for the sacred homes you provided for your kids and for all that you do and for the community and the love you share, and it's just really 
beautiful and also how real and authentic you are and it's a pleasure to be here thank you so thank much thank you so much thank you all right we'll talk to you again soon thank you okay bye bye bye, -bye.